What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. You know what it is. Shout out to everybody that's on that boxing grind. Shout out to the LDBC, the YTBC, and um, you know it's fight week. You know Triple G Canelo uh, prediction coming on later on the day. Billy Joe Saunders, Willie Monroe coming later on the day, and a Callum Smith opening World Boxing Super Series Super Middleweight bout. I'm gonna break that down later this week. But um, you know Adrian Broner, you know is back in the news. He ain't knocked nobody else out, but we talked about that. You can check the archives. I dropped it first. Video Sunday morning, he knocked the guy out on the Las Vegas Strip, and um, some somebody caught up with him, um, I guess from boxing scene on um, in in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, said that he'll fuck Conor McGregor up, um, but he wants him to stay in UFC and stay away from this boxing shit. He says a young boxer like him would do more damage than Floyd Mayweather did, and um, you know for Broner, he knows it's over for him. You know after the Mikey Garcia fight, he had a little cry doing an interview with Jim Gray. You know what they say, the cry comes before the fall, and his fall is is very epic, and it's going to be epic. He's going to start, uh, he's already in a downward spiral. He's going to continue to hit rock bottom, and him having mental health issues, talking about suicide, hopefully, you know, somebody's around him to take care of him and make sure he doesn't harm himself. He does have a family and kids, but, um, you know, him trying to bait Conor McGregor into a fight, into a boxing fight, um, is because... He wants to make money. He wants to cash out. And, you know, every time he steps up on a, in a big, you know, in competition, he loses. And I'm not saying McGregor will be a step up in competition. I'm not even saying it's a fight that the fans may want to demand. I think a lot of people, you know, the hardcore fans, we've been turned off by Broner. We knew, we've been knew he was limited. His fan base thought he could be, and a lot of his fan base has turned and, and realized that he is a stepping stone. He is a journeyman. He is an Andre Berto. And um, the casual fans know that as well, too. So is there a demand for him versus Conor McGregor? I doubt it. I think Conor McGregor and Paul Mononagy is a bigger and a better fight because um, they have history and the sparring thing. But Adrian Broner is trying to reach here and bait Conor McGregor to take a fight. And, um, you know, if I'm Conor McGregor, if I'm taking a fight, I'm, I'm taking Adrian Broner. You know, he does bring some fanfare. He does have some juice left. I understand that he felt he felt that he had his way with Paulie. But I think, you know, uh, Paulie presents more problems in the boxing ring than Adrian Broner. I think, you know, if he can get Adrian Broner to move up to 154 pounds and, and face him, you know, just potentially, um, I, th- I think he can give Adrian Broner some problems. Um, you know, I still would pick Adrian Broner to win. If he if he lost to Conor McGregor, he might, as, he might as well just shoot himself. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's still out here doing dumb shit. He's still out, out here a mature. Um, a loss, getting shot up. It's not making this dude mature. He has a real mental immaturity issue going on with himself and um you know it's not gonna get fixed until you know until he completely hits rock bottom his his athletic ability is gone um he's gonna have to mature by um life experiences somewhat with just what zab judah had to go through somewhat with mike tyson had to uh, go go with but um you know he fight conor mcgregor and conor mcgregor beat his ass that bitch that should be the most hilarious shit in the world man in my opinion but um you know he got a lot of confidence still and i don't see how But uh, we'll see what's going on uh, later on. But we gone.